The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We have on line today from All Star Charts, J.C. Parrots. J.C., how are you doing today? Larry, what's going on, my man? Just living the dream, baby, on the green side of the grass, as always. Buying low, selling high in quantity, as they say on the floor of the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. JC, what do you think of the markets here? I have two questions for you from one of our listeners. What is your overall view of the stock market, particularly the NASDAQ, and also any ideas you might have on cryptocurrencies? Yeah, I mean, listen, the NASDAQ's the strongest of all of them. No doubt about it. Strongest market in the world. I mean, still pushing up against new all-time highs. Uh, look at the technology index, XLK, pennies from all-time highs as we speak, Apple making all-time highs as we speak, uh, the semiconductors, which if we're going to have a conversation about technology in the NASDAQ, to not include semiconductors in that conversation, I feel would be irresponsible. And as we speak, semiconductors as an index are currently making new all-time highs, uh, led, of course, uh, and, and NVIDIA pushing up against new all-time highs, uh, advanced micro, also pushing up against new all-time highs. So if you ask me about the NASDAQ, I think you heard me say the words new and high uh, quite often there, Larry. And what do we know about <laughs> uptrends? In uptrends, go back, find your favorite uptrends of all time. I don't care which one. You know what you're going to find? You're going to find a lot of new highs in those uptrends. That's for sure. New highs mean new highs. That's what Joe Bidigan used to say. Now, on the cryptocurrency uh, front, what are you uh, what are you telling your folks on cryptos? Got to buy them, baby. Let's go. You know, Larry, well, do you have do you, yeah, yeah. do you have any favorites? That's one of the people are asking. I mean, that's uh do I have any favorites? Come on. Of course I got something, my favorites. They're looking for something for around three to six cents. It will go to about forty or fifty dollars quickly. Well, don't worry. Course. Don't worry so much about the price uh, <laughs> itself, more the market capitalization, right? Because some of these things, sure. you know, you could be looking at a dollar fifty, you know, just because it's a low priced uh, cryptocurrency doesn't mean it's like a penny stock or something like that, which is something to remember because sure. a lot of these things mm -hmm. are low priced. Um, you know. Uh, for me, you mentioned before you want to, you know, the Chicago guys talking about buying low and selling high. You know, I think that's a tough thing to do, buy low and sell high. It's much easier to buy high and sell higher, right? You don't need to be the first mm -hmm. one in. You don't need to be the, the one waiting for the market to agree with you later. You know, just mm -hmm. go into something that the market already agrees is going higher, right? So, you know, I think Ethereum continuing to outperform Bitcoin, uh, I think, makes a lot of sense. The trades are simple. Ethereum's above the former highs from the spring. You got to own it. Uh, you can make that argument across the board with many, many cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin. Um, you know, look at some of these like uh, Elrond and Avalanche. As soon as they broke out above their first half highs, they were off to the races. Take a look at the video game cryptos in particular, uh, showing a ton of relative strength. I'm talking about Decentraland, Axie Infinity, uh, Gala. Uh, me personally, if uh, if if uh, Decentraland is above four and a half, I think yeah, if you don't own it, I think you're being irresponsible. I think it goes. Uh, I think it's got another four points of upside, and right now it's four and a half. So that's a nice mm -hmm. little percentage gainer there, Larry, huh? It's better than you get at the bank. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and that's been right. that's in been the, the bank, case the for the last fifteen rates, years. <laughs> right, the way real interest rates work in the bank, you're actually uh, paying them to let you lend them money. Right? Isn't that how that works? Yeah, I know. It's amazing, isn't it? Okay, one other question one of our listeners is asking about is, do you have a particular uh, stock or futures or something that you really like, like I like gold and crude oil? Do you have something that you you really like? That I, I don't know if you can answer that because you can look at so many different things. I've never seen anybody, well, there's only one other person can do this much work, and that's Shane Smolian. But, boy, you young guys, I'll tell you, holy cow, you really know how to use these computers. So is there any one or two particular things that you like best, uh, JC? Yeah, like I, I think you're asking me just like in general, not necessarily right now. Yes, in moment, general, yes, absolutely, in general. in general, yeah. 
Yeah, no, I'm incredibly agnostic. I really couldn't care less whether we're trading the euro, whether we're trading Decentraland crypto, S&P futures, Amazon, AMD, NVIDIA. I, I don't really care. Oil, gold. It doesn't matter to me one bit. Mm -hmm. All it is is just letters and math, you know, to, to get emotional yeah. about a particular asset or pretend that you have any idea, anything about that asset. I think it's silly. You know, nothing. Just trust price. And it's just letters and math, Larry. I agree with that numbers. Uh, I've been agreeing with that for many, many years. So I am certainly not a fundamentalist. Now, we have one other question for one of our listeners in New Jersey, and that is the decision by the Federal Reserve to start tapering. Does that affect anything that you're looking at? You know, one decision I made a long time ago that has certainly continued to pay dividends is to completely ignore, number one, anything that the Federal Reserve has to say, and number two, anybody who has any comments on what the Federal Reserve is doing, right? So if you can just avoid those two things altogether, your life's going to be so much easier. Like this whole like yeah. gossip revolving around the Federal Reserve, I couldn't think huh. of a worse way to spend your time, particularly yeah. as an investor. I think you ignore it completely. Just watch what the bond market is doing. If inflation protected treasury securities are outperforming traditional mm -hmm. treasuries, uh, that is pointing towards higher inflation. If interest rates are going higher, that means interest rates are going higher, right? Like we don't mm -hmm. need to, you know, get involved in the glorified gossip columns about the whole thing. Just watch what price is doing. And if price and the bond market are pricing in higher inflation, there's your answer. If the bond market is not, there's your answer. Who cares what the gossip yeah. around the whole thing, um, you know, it's 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 silly, Larry. It's silly. Well, I'm going to announce this is going to be JC's rule. Rule number one is don't listen to the Fed. Rule number two, don't break rule number one. Just like Warren Buffett says, you know, don't lose uh, uh, positions. Uh, rule number one is don't lose on a, on a position. And rule number two is don't break rule number Number one. So I like that. I, I don't. I, I, the news follows the trend, in my opinion, anyway. So it's not a big deal. Larry, Listen, I know you're. This is my favorite, Larry. This is so good. Yesterday, okay. yesterday, the prices of inflationary assets were down on the back of in higher inflationary worries. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you see it all the time. Yeah, it's just one thing after oh, another. And remember, we had remember three weeks ago we had hundred dollar crude oil written in the books. I mean, everybody thought crude oil was going to go to a hundred. You know, now it's uh, twenty six dollars lower, and everybody says, hmm, "I wonder where the bottom is." You know, that kind of stuff. So, what's very the next Fibonacci level, JC? <laughs> yeah, that you go four point two, five point six, eleven point seven. Just keeps adding it up. Hey, listen, yep. pal, we're going to have you on again in a few weeks, and if next time, if you get a chance, I know I gave you a really short window here to get on. But they love to see some of the charts that you're looking at because you are all-star charts, and they would love to see some of those. So I hope you share with those. Uh, those are, how can the folks reach you if they want to see some of your things, JC? Because you post enough information to uh, to keep a chartist happy forever. How would they reach you? Yeah, no, I appreciate that. I'm happy to bring some charts next time, no doubt about it. Uh, you can find me at allstarcharts.com. You can find me on Twitter, StockTwits, Instagram, and YouTube at All Star Charts. I'm easy. To, I'm easy to find, Larry. Easy to find. You certainly are. Hey, listen. Thanks a lot, JC, and, and we'll have you on uh, early December next, or about two weeks. Okay. You got it. Talk soon. Okay. You, you bet, folks. JC, Parrots, Juan Carlos Parrots of All Star Charts. We'll be right back, boys and girls, with Amazon. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. 
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, we are going to take a look at Amazon, as you can see here, with the uh, blue uh, turquoise uh, pattern that's there. That's a three drive to a top pattern. And, of course, we had a pretty good correction back. You'll notice I marked off the 382. This is a weaker than market stock among the FANG stocks and also within the NASDAQ. I mean, it's not that weak, but it is weaker than that. You'll notice it has, has some downside objectives that are quite lower. Now, the $64 question is, is the market going to stop here? Or is the market going to go up uh, forever? Well, let's leave uh, let, let's leave it to the old charts and see what we got here this morning. This is a chart of a 60-minute E-mini. I, I picked that one because that's the one that most people are looking at. I could have done the Dow or the NASDAQ. Uh, it wouldn't have made any difference. But if you'll notice here uh, on this, we made a high back on the uh, 22nd uh, of November. Uh, if you remember, that was the day President Kennedy was killed back in 1963. The market came all the way down. We went from 4,747 handle to a 45 handle, and we've rallied back. And you notice here, I marked this in a couple hours ago that the 50% retracement of, on this comes in at 46.49. And it is exactly equal to the last rally that we had when we went from 4580 all the way up to uh, 4680. So it rallies 100 handles. So pay attention to that. Now, if we start getting above 4670, uh, uh, something like that, uh, that's above the 61% of that range and also taking out the high of late November, then, boys and girls, then you could be looking at new highs. And uh, that would be... Uh, we wouldn't be a surprise to anybody that uh, looks at charts because, as JC said, you know, uh, higher prices lead to higher prices. So uh, until they don't anymore, but that's it. The real key today, I don't know where it's trading at, but 46.49. Uh, let me double check here just really quick to see where we are. If we got there, oh, I think we're there about now, aren't we? How high did we get? Well, we got to 46.49.75. So that fulfills that one. So, uh, on that particular one, you don't have to risk more than about seven cents. So that's a main one to uh, pay close attention to. Now, I have received over the past 24 hours three different, uh, uh, what do you say, comments about the fact that I do not give Elliott Wave its fair due. And boys and girls, I have nothing against Elliott Wave at all. It's just that I have a difficulty counting the waves the way that they count them with their subwaves 
and uh, diagonals and all that other stuff. Simplicity beats complexity, in my opinion, folks. I've kept it this way for a long time. I don't want to change it. I, in fact, I, you know, I, I can't change it. There's nothing else I can do about it. All I can do is I, I can show you something that we've been watching here uh, every day. We look at this market because everybody talks about it all the time, and that's the crude oil market. And if you'll notice, here's where we were. Just this is the uh, this is the hourly chart. I'm going to go down to a smaller time frame in just a minute because you can see here we marked those black lines just like we did with the S&P. Those were just markets that are repeating the same swing. That's basically the harmonic number for crude oil. You'll notice that it went to 382, went above it by about 40 pips, and then went down and crashed all the way down to 64.20. Now, you can count those waves any way you want, but let's just, let's just do it. Humor the old cowboy for a minute, folks, because I uh, I like showing this stuff because I, I think we can learn from it. But uh, let's take a look at it. Here's where we are over the last 24 hours. Now, remember, this market is moving pretty good. We went from 72 to 64. That's $8,000 yesterday. Uh, you'll see that $8,000. Now, look at this. Follow, follow me, folks. This is not hard. You'll notice the first ABCD pattern that completes – there on in early late November, late November, <laughs> late afternoon of yesterday, then we rallied up. You see, we went to a 50% retracement, and then you made the A B C D pattern exactly perfectly right down here to 67.20. Then you rallied up to a 382, and you came down and you make the price objective of 64.72. The low on this puppy was 64.42, uh, 30 cents. Then you rally up. How much do you rally up? You rally up. $2,000, folks. Then you back off to a 382 retracement there at 6641. And I, I sent that in long before it happened because once that occurred, you have to expect that with that big move up after the ABCD, that that may be the next thing to look for. I did the same thing in the euro last night. And that gave us a chance to buy the euro at the exact 382, just like we had done the previous day. However, the one the previous day turned out to be a very small profit instead of a huge profit that we had due to the inflexibility of the said speaker that is speaking now. Now, you notice uh, for the rest of the time, we made the ABCD pattern here. Now, that was at a 61% retracement from the high that was back here. Okay, and then if you look at the red line, look at the red line where the where the 382 came in, verifying, yeah, the trend has probably changed. Well, we're already $2,000. Well, not quite $2,000. We're about $1,500 up on that one. And that that's, hey, stop and think. $1,500, folks, is 30 handles in the S&P. And, you know, that's a lot of handles. So let's, uh, let's remind ourselves that, uh, you know, you don't have to count them any way you want. Uh, you know, Basil does his way of doing it which I think is far superior to the way that the folks at L. I, I, let me, let me, folks, when I had that trading house up there in uh, Pismo Beach for those seven years, I had a lot of people come in from all over the country, mainly because Mark would come in and spend a month or two, uh, and uh, because the house was quite large, and Twentyman lived on the third floor, Mark lived on the second floor, but the, um, well, that was really on the side of the hill, so the second floor wasn't that big. Anyway, the main thing was is they would come in and look, and these people would. Bob Miner would come in. Uh, what was his name? Glenn Neely would come in. N nobody from Prector ever came, even though I invited them to come. People from Tudor Jones groups would come in, uh, and uh, several lot lots of traders, of course, and stuff. And whenever you got those guys in, Bryce Gilmore was there almost all the time. Well, two or three months a year, but. They would count the waves and they would argue about whether it was a two or a three or a four or a five. And I'm sitting over there listening to this stuff. I said, I don't know what, what they're talking about. I said, but all I know is if I do something here at this D point of an ABCD, I know that you know I've got a pretty good chance of winning better than two out of three. And I know I can, you know, quantify my risk at right at this point because if it gets more than three hundred dollars beyond point D, I don't want anything to do with it. And then that's all I did. I didn't make it any harder. It, it's really, you know, keep it as simple as possible. That that's really uh, that's really all you want to try to do. I, I don't think it can be easier than that. And I, I, you know, I'm not sure. When we get back from the break, I'm going to share with you guys what I think might be an early Christmas present. But you got to pay close attention with it because it's one wild puppy. But we like wild puppies because wild puppies make great pets. 
once you tame once you tame them. So let's remind ourselves that it's not how much money you make, it's how much money you don't lose. And therein lies the problem. I'm going to give you a little hint what's coming up at the break. So stay with me here and I'm going to show you the thing that I'm looking at today and that is nothing more and believe me, uh oh, something is beeping. So that means it's either good or bad. Let's take a quick look. We'll be right back after these words from our sponsor. And uh, we'll be back in, I think, a few minutes anyway. We'll go from there. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, uh, back. Uh, someone uh, uh, Skyped and said uh, I should write a, uh, a book called Pismo Beach Memoirs. <laughs> I'm afraid, no, I've been sworn to secrecy on some of them, but the, the stories that uh, I could tell are, are really, uh, really, really spectacular. They're very, very funny anyway. Let's, uh, let's move on here. Uh, folks, I posted the chart of the natural gas. Uh, remember, folks, we were trading at 650 way back on October the 7th, okay? Now we're trading a little bit more than $22,000 uh, lower than that. 
10,000 of that in the last uh, last four days uh, from where we went from 54 uh, down to we he just hit a low of 432 now you notice where it says on there with that big thing it says important support and if you look to the left of that you'll see a number that says 4.314 that's what we were looking at for to see whether this was going to be the low or not today now why would anybody buy it at 4314 well you have to believe in the 786 you have to believe in the abcd and you have to believe in the uh the fact that the market is uh, expanding to the downside and it's very oversold so you're you're buying into an oversold market, which gives you a little bit of help. But the main thing here is at 431.40, you know that you put your stop at 428.40, you know that you're only risking $300. $300 on a, on an instrument that is moving four and $5,000 a day. Folks, even on a down day, it moved $2,500 last night to, to the low today. I mean, that's how much it was uh, moving. Went from 46, well, actually $3,000. Went from uh, 46 to 43, and that that's just a 3,000. You know, that was the equivalent to four limit days in pork bellies, for heaven's sakes. And 3,000 is what, 60 handles in the S&P? So this is a great trading vehicle. So that's what I'm looking at here. That's what I try to define when I'm watching these things to see if they line up uh, or not. This will either uh, either it will either work or it won't. The one thing I can promise you on, you don't have to risk more than 300 bucks. And believe me, that's all I can tell you. So uh, right now, it's trading right now at 4314. That was a number we were looking for, and we just made a new low. Your, your stop's got to be, folks, at 428.40. No ifs, ands, or buts. No way you can do about it. Now, the S&P did get up to our we – we hit a high of uh, in the S&P at 46.50.75. The number we were looking at was 46.49. Uh, and then we're going to uh, see, assume what's going on here. As far as someone asked a question about the crude oil, folks, if you remember on the crude oil, we've talked about this and I've shown it in the newsletter every week, uh, ever since it topped, uh, you know, three and a half weeks ago at $85. We said there's a possibility of this. And everybody was telling us that it was going to go to $100 uh, a barrel, you know. <laughs> That, that's the beauty of, you know, technical analysis. You don't have to listen to that stuff. And believe me, there's there's so much junk out there that you don't know whether it's right or wrong. Now, let's just take a quick look here at the NASDAQ because the, the folks are out there showing these things. And, I, and people send them to me, and I like to see them because I like to know what's going on here. Uh, Mr. Bo says, uh, uh, I think Larry uses Elliott Wave and moving averages. Yes, that's correct. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's me, Bo. You got me figured out. And the horse you came in on. Hey, let's look here. 2,000. You'll see that big uh, shooting star uh, pattern right there. And here's uh, 21, possibly. But don't forget now, we're we're not anywhere close to that a high. We're not even making it. We're not even making a major 61% retracement yet in the Nasdaq, even though it's getting a lot of play. And a lot of that is due to Apple. I mean, look at Apple's up three day, uh, four bucks yesterday in a huge down market, and then up four or five more today. I mean, somebody wants to buy Apple, you know, so uh, that that affects those things of of how they work. So I uh, just want to bring that to your attention. Now, I've had some requests for some stocks that uh, people have act, uh, asked about that uh, I don't usually follow. But if you'll give me a second here. Uh, oh, did, did that not post right? Hold on. Let me double check here. Did that post work on the NASDAQ to show the uh, – uh, it might not have because it came through a Twitter feed and I might have messed that up. So if you can't see that, uh, you know, go and look at it because you'll be able to you'll be able to see that that's what happened in 2000 and the other one was not it. So let's let's remind ourselves that it seems to look OK. Thank you very much, Al. Glad to uh, glad to be uh, uh, yeah, glad to be informed of what's going on over there. OK, now here's one of the stocks that uh, someone asked about. It's called CSC. I have no idea what it is other than it's a stock. And I want to bring it to your attention here because uh, it did complete a uh, really nice uh, sell Gartley up there at 75. And uh, it looks like it's heading down, you know, uh, a little bit lower. There's just a few of those NASDAQ stocks that are going nuts. Apple being number one. I mean, my goodness, it's uh, it's really going very, very quickly. So that's the main thing, uh, you know, to pay attention to. Now, moving on, I want to uh, show you something here about 
hold on one second. I think we have a caller coming in here. Uh, now we see a den screen. I don't know why that happened, but sorry about that. <laughs> oh, dear. Give me a second. All right, here's, here's something from uh, Tommy Terrific, Tommy Hugard. I wanted to bring this up here to show you here. This is the... Uh, this is the uh, German DAX, okay? Now, it's an hourly chart going back to the 19th of November. You'll notice those down arrows there that you see. Those were 382 retracements. You know where it says DAX 60, and you see that one right there? Guess what that was, boys and girls? That was a 382 retracement, and the one right next to it was a 382 retracement. So these things work in many languages. Fibonacci is not just Italian, folks. It speaks any language. You know, that's it. That's the main thing you've got to remember, uh, that these things work on darn near anything that is traded uh, actively, and that's great. Now, we had one other one that we've been asked to look at, and that was a stock. I don't remember. It was Super Z or something like that. And I was talking to the gentleman. I think he was from Connecticut. But I was saying that the the pattern, you'll see there, the ABC ended at uh, 322. And I said that's where I would be getting out of it. And, of course, it went all the way up to uh, 376, uh, came down to 327. Last I saw it was 346. So, you know, th there's another example. See, when it goes about 3% or $0.06 cents above, $6 above that uh, that uh, 618 retracement or expansion, you don't want to have anything to do with it. That's the, that's the real reasoning for remembering that 618, 1.618 is the, is ex extremely important for risk control. Anything gets past 1.618, you don't actually know where it's going to go. So if you put yourself in harm's way, <coughs> that would that would be uh, able to do it. Now we're going to uh, change gears here for just a second, and we're going to go over to the grain markets. Talk a little bit about wheat that's been in a very, very bullish market for a long time. Give me a second here. This is the – we're looking at uh, March wheat now. We've moved from December to March. Now, you'll look in August. You'll see that we had a really severe correction from $8 down to $7. And look what we've done so far, folks. We went from $8.80 to $7.80, a dollar a bushel. And that's holding like a rock, at least it was early this morning. So uh, that's very important that it holds that uh, relationship because if it gets anywhere below that, it's going to be looking at some real serious work at the uh, 760 level down another 20 cents. So that's the key to looking at these numbers and how they repeat over and over again. Now, if you were to draw you know, your regular channel line on that, you'll see that they line up really good if you use Andrew's channel lines, which is great because that's another way of looking how the market bounces between these natural occurring numbers. That's why it's pretty good. When we get back from the break, I'm going to give you just a, a tiny bit of information about why I don't use oscillators and stuff, okay? Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks. So regarding that natural gas, I had a $300 stop on that. I lost. It went right down to 10, 20 cents below where my stop was, but that's okay. I did not want to risk more than $300 on that. But please don't feel sorry for me because I did make some on the downside heading into that uh, uh, target down there, but that's neither here nor there. Now, let's talk just a little bit about why I don't use uh, oscillators and moving averages and things like that. Okay, now when I started in this business, you know, back in 1959, we had very little. I mean, very little is the understatement of the year. This started in the 70s uh, with the stuff with cycles and all the other stuff started to get better and better. But it wasn't until 1983 that uh, we had the computers like you have your desktops here that you could see all the stuff and draw your five-minute lines and have oscillators and all that stuff. And because commodity uh, stocks and commodities magazine and futures magazine, they were promoting all this stuff day after day after day. And uh, you had all kinds of these things, and everybody had a uh, oscillator named after themselves. And uh, you know that was uh, that's how it all started. And I looked at all that stuff, and uh, and and I, and I remember in 1972 I went to uh, uh, Commodity Corporation for the first time with my friend Jay Cross, who was working there, and he he was working with Amos Hostetter daily for four years. He did that, and I noticed that when he was doing all of his charts by hand, there were never any oscillators, there were no moving averages, there were some trend lines that he used, but that was pretty. And he was incredibly successful. And here. That's it. I remember now. This is when I'm at the top of my game, folks. I'm a little farm boy that threw out a couple of grand and you know ran it up to a you know substantial amount. And yet I, uh, when I saw him, I said, "Gee, I'd like to be you know do just like what he does." And he didn't do that. Later on, and Jay was there at Commodity Corporation to work with computers, and they had computers, and they were looking at moving averages and all these things. But they, 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 what they did, they, they found out that what really matters was the volatility of the market, of how the, uh, excuse me, for how the, uh, you know, the market would move out of that volatility, and that's what Goldman Sachs paid for when they bought Commodity Corporation was that volatility breakout system that uh, Amos had developed. It was based on volatility of how the market moved out of a certain area. And so that's why I don't do it. I mean, they, and some guys, let me tell you folks, there's p people here at TFNN are really good at this stuff with the moving averages. And they are helpful. They're just not helpful for me because my motto is simplicity beats complexity. And the less lines I have on a chart, the better off it is for me because I frankly can't uh, – you know, I, I just can't interpret them. And first of all, they're lagging a little bit. And when I'm looking at point D, then that's it. Now, Mr. Bill asked the question is, what is oversold in my uh, in my opinion? Well, oversold in my opinion is when I'm buying at point D and that in that natural gas at 4.31, uh, uh, okay, and I get stopped out at 4.281 with the $300, that's oversold. So I know it's still oversold, but I tried it. It didn't work. Now, what I will do, 
And I don't know where the bottom is going to be, but we're way below uh, the 1.618, which is a uh, uh, rather troubling sign. So the only way I could even touch this would be for the market to rally sharply above the uh, 131, that 1.618 number at 4.31, and then show me a little pattern on a 15-minute chart where, again, I can go in and not risk more than 300. I'd be willing to try it again. But it's got to do that, and, you know, it's not doing it right now. It's trading down here at uh, right where I got out at uh, 428.10. So uh, that's what I'm paying attention to. So I hope that helps. Now, I, I don't have anything against oscillators and stuff like that. They just don't work for me. I, I That's just my opinion, and I'm sticking to it. I haven't changed in all these years. And, boy, let me tell you, you know, when you get that uh, horse in the crowd for this many years, it's hard to put a saddle on him. So I'm not going to be changing. The ABCD works for me. Doesn't work all the time, but it works better than six out of ten times. And the main thing it does is it tells you when you're wrong, pal. Because when you go beyond D, especially when you go past 1.618 like we just did, uh, you don't know where it's going. So stand aside. You know that's basically uh, what you have to do. So let's remind ourselves uh, that that's what it's all about. I hope that helps. But anyway, that's why I do it. But there are people here at TFNN, Basil, Steve Rhodes. Uh, I don't know if David uses them or not, but Tom O'Brien uses them too. But they, they use those as a filter for, uh, you know, finding out where they are. And that, that's great. You know, I, I looked at all kinds of stochastics and uh, I, I knew George Lane. I mean, I had been to his office before. And uh, so I, I knew him when I was in Chicago. Uh, I, I knew Wells Wilder, I'm very good friends with Larry Williams and stuff. And all those things are pretty good, but they're just not for me, folks. I keep it real simple. That's uh, simplicity trumps uh, complexity. And that's, uh, that's, what I, uh, that's what I do. And it's been working. It doesn't work all the time, but boy, when it does work, it's really good. Right now, it's working in the S&P. Uh, if you did that one, you got a 12 hand or you've got 12 points uh, in your favor. So that's it. We'll be able to see it. Yep. I just got a Skype here from someone that says it's reversing from 4650 and the high was 4650.75. So sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Unfortunately, the Christmas present that I had planned for you in the natural gas turned out to be bah humbug, but uh, that's neither here nor there. Hey, tomorrow, boys and girls, stay tuned. Buckle your seatbelts, boys and girls. We have none other than uh, Mr. Fibonacci himself, Joe DiNapoli. Joey D will be on tomorrow, folks, at 1130. And then on Friday, we're going to have Paula Webb. Paula Webb Douglas will be our guest on Friday. So that's another one that to keep in mind, those are all, they're all fun guests. They all give us something really great. And it breaks the, hum breaks the what do they call it? The omitted, not morbidity, but the um, uh, boredom of Amy Eagle CD. It's very boring, but you don't want boys and girls. You don't want, it works, it works, it works. Try it. You might like it. Who knows? I know some of you have tried it and liked it, and so that's very, very good. So that's the important thing to uh, sort of remember as we're looking at some of these things here unfolding here today. If you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648, uh, and uh, keep that in mind that uh, – it's the number you call in if you want to be able to uh, to look at this. But uh, we're uh, we're hold on. We got a question. Maybe we have a question coming in right now. We have uh, Jeff from Philadelphia. And uh, Jeff, are you there, Jeff? Yes, uh, Larry. How are you? I am very good. And your question is, why do I like futures over stocks? Well, I, I know you do, but yeah, I was going to ask if you could go into some. Uh, detail, you know, about that. Sure. Kind of like on the same lines that you were sure. discussing about oscillators and, and things. Sure, uh, abs absolutely. I'd be real interested to hear. Well, the main thing is, is the leverage. You know, you get, uh, usually get 20 to 1 leverage, and you're about, you get maybe 40 or 50% with stocks. Some people give you more. But the leverage is one thing. The liquidity is a second thing because you can – well, liquidity in stocks and bonds are pretty much the same as far as getting in and out of stuff. But futures usually have 24 hours now like we didn't have that before. But it's mainly liquidity and the fact that uh, you know the volatility in these, giving the leverage that you have, gives you tremendous profit and potential. But on the other side of that, Jeff, is if you're wrong, you could get hurt really bad. And you already understand that, correct? Yes. Okay, does that help? Uh, I was, uh, stay with, yeah, I, stay I with, one other stay question with. on the same subject. 
Stay, stay with us till the break, and we'll be right back with you. Jeff from Philly is on the air. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, folks, we're back. We're talking with Jeff from Philadelphia, and he asked me a question, why I like futures better than stocks. You know, the main reason, Jeff, is that's where I got trained. I got trained in futures. I didn't get trained in stocks, even though my first trade was a stock trade that my uncle put on for me, uh, Elastic Stop Nut. But, you know, I never really did much in stocks, but it's mainly the leverage that you get with the futures and the fact that, uh, you know, that's what I was trained in. Mm -hmm. That That's pretty much it. I want to ask one other question. Do you find that your patterns work better with futures and stocks? They work equally in either one. They have to because it's the public being involved and, and it, they have to work. I mean, as long as the public is involved, these patterns work or I would quit. And believe me, I, no one's ever proved it to me because I look at everything. The cryptocurrencies was always something that said, oh, these things don't work with cryptocurrencies. Heck, they work just, just as good as cryptos. They do with the euro, the gold, the S&P. They all were all the same. It's based on natural law. Okay. So the, it works equally uh, well in futures as stocks yeah. and every other trading vehicle. Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. It well, certainly well, does. Thank you very much. You bet. Have a happy holiday. Thank you for calling in, and we always enjoy talking to you, Jeff. Okay, folks, remember, we got Mr. Joey D. Joe DiNapoli is going to be on the air tomorrow, so that'll be a lot of fun. He's always got a lot of great information. And then on Friday, we'll have Paula Douglas. The following Monday, I believe, we're going to have Jeff Huge on, and we're going to have Adrian Togare coming on. We'll have Stan Harley back and also... 
Tim Boss and our go-to guy that we always use, Shane Smullyan, will be uh, visiting in with us too. So those are, oh, we just had a nice little snap down in the old uh, NASDAQ, so maybe this number in the S&P will hold up. We've already covered our loss in the old <coughs> natural gas, but we'll see what happens, folks. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless, and we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow. And uh, be sure you take care of your your neighbors, friends, and relatives, folks, because a lot of folks out there are having a lot of trouble. So we'll see you tomorrow, God willing. <laughs>